Hi, and welcome back. If you are new to this channel, my name is Corey. I am a Moda Fabrics designer, and I also design quilt patterns. And so today, we are going to be talking about my brand new sun-washed line of fabric. This collection is currently showing to quilt shops, and it will be in quilt shops in early 2023. So we have a little bit to wait, but it is always fun to see the prints and start dreaming and planning of projects that you might want to make with these new fabrics. Now, if you watch to the end of the video, I am going to be sharing a little behind the scenes peek at uh, a little bit what goes in when we design a fabric line. And I'm also going to be sharing four prints that did not make the cut for this collection. I know I always enjoy seeing what fabrics didn't make the cut, so I will be curious to hear your thoughts when we get to that part, I, I have a question for you once we get there. So make sure that you watch to, to that part so you can help me out. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about this quilt behind me. This is Basket Bliss. With every new fabric line I design, I also design quilt patterns to complement the fabrics. So Basket Bliss is a fat eighth friendly quilt. It finishes at 75 by 90. And I do have a video coming up soon that will be showing you all of the new quilts in the collection. So you will want to stay tuned in the next week or so. I should have that video available to watch. And there you will see all of the quilting designs, the, um, the backing fabrics, the binding, and I'll just talk about the quilts in more detail. But let's go ahead and start looking at the prints in Sunwashed. With every collection that I design, I will often start with the main floral, and that's what we have here. This print is called Country Meadow, and this line is a happy line. It's full of a rainbow of colors, and it is a very summery, fresh fabric line. Next up is the white on white for this collection. This print is called Pomegranate Polka, and it is the same print as this one right here on the green. It's a little polka dot print with a little plus sign in the center of it. So that is the white on white for sun washed. Now one question I do get asked is if my white on whites will match from collection to collection or if coriander seeds will match any of my collections. And the answer is yes. The white on whites are the same shade from previous collections and including up through sun washed and they match Moda Bella Solid in the color off white and the number on that is 200. Moving down, this next print is Summer Soiree. It's a little wildflower print with polka dots and little, um, little bitty buds spread throughout. And then we have the print called Bitty Buds. This is one of my favorite prints in this collection. I always like the large prints, but sometimes these little basics just slide in and really make themselves known. And this is one that I have found myself reaching for a lot. It makes a great background in all of the colors. You're going to see that in some of the upcoming um, colorways as we work our way down through, and it works wonderful for backgrounds. This is Busy Bees. I'm gonna pull a fabric over here from the side. You might remember this print from my Springbrook collection. These little bees made an appearance in that collection and I thought they were a perfect addition for the Sunwashed collection. So it's the same bee, but I added little flowers and then the little dots throughout. Wildflower Toss is this print. Just a nice small to medium scale tossed flower print. And this print is Czech. We saw this same print in the Cozy Up fabric line and I loved using it in that collection. It works so well for fussy cutting out and using in various pieced blocks. The scale on it is very nice for doing that. Um, it really lets you showcase the print and I have really been enjoying this fabric. And then of course, pomegranate polka. And then this is X print. This is another basic that I really enjoy adding to my collections. And we have it in some new colors in Sunwashed. All right, let's move on to the next colorway. Here we have the yellows. And as we work our way down through, we're going to work into the peachy colors. So there's that same summer soiree print. Bitty buds on yellow. I think this is so pretty. 
the check, X print, Country Meadow. The yellows are often some of my favorites in a collection. They are always so sunshiny and happy. And I tend to choose, I think I've always chosen the warm yellows in my collection. So it's just warm and buttery and just a very cheerful print. Here we have the check print again. This is in a coral color. Busy Bees. And then again, the X print. Okay, we'll move into the pinky shades and then the red shades. These are very warm colors for this colorway as well. Starting with Wildflower Toss, Bitty Buds, Country Meadow. I really like this print too. It has both the pink and then the little peachy bits in there too. Of course, the blues. Check. Pomegranate Polka. And then Wildflower Toss. I am going to have all of these fabrics photographed and on my website, coriandraquilts.com. So if I'm moving too quickly, you can always pop over there and take a look at those photos to get a little bit more detail on some of these prints. This blue is a new color to my collections. All of the colors that you've seen so far, you have seen in previous collections of mine, but I have added two new blues and I think they really round out this collection beautifully. So this is Country Meadow. We have a multi pomegranate polka, which is so fun. This makes a really neat background fabric too, if you want just a little bit more color in your background. The check, Bitty Buds, pomegranate polka, and Busy Bees. The last colorway, this is navy. I haven't had navy in a collection before, but I opted to use navy instead of my usual gray. I am such a gray fabric fan, so you will often see me putting gray in a collection, but I wanted to change things up a little bit, and I really do like the way this navy rounds out the collection. Summer Soiree is the first print. We have the multi pomegranate polka on the dark background, and that is super pretty. X print, Wildflower Toss, Bitty Buds. You are going to see this print used as the background in one of my quilt patterns that I designed for this collection, and I love this as a background. It works really well. And then Country Meadow, and this is such a striking fabric. I really enjoyed using this print for borders. It's beautiful for backings. Actually, any of the larger scale florals are often the ones that I choose for backings. I think they're so pretty and you, they just show off the fabric so well. So those are the new prints. And now we are going to move into the little bit of the sneaky peeky part. So let me get things set up here on my table and I will be right back. All right, so now when we look at what I have in front of me here, when I turn in a fabric collection, I will do, I call it my at a glance. So I will put together my fabric collection, usually with about seven to nine different prints. Each of those prints has their own file, but then I will do one file that just has all of the prints in them in all the different colors. Uh, I mix and match the um, background colors, the motif colors, just so I can get a look at what the collection looks like as a whole. And so this would be sun washed at a glance. And you can see here, I have the colors that I was envisioning for this collection. These are the names of the Motobella solids that I had um, initially been thinking this collection would work well with. Sometimes these change a little bit after I see the prints in person. So don't go by any of these right now um, if you're trying to match your fabrics. Instead, wait until I release my best sunwashed basics coordinates for this line because that is where you will get exactly what matches when the collection releases. 
Um, here you can see some of my notes. I'm gonna talk about that just a little bit. And of course the name, um, the fonts that I want used on my selvages and my selvage quote for this collection is Let Your Light Shine, which I thought worked really well for this collection. Now, as we leaf through, you're going to see I have the names of everything listed, you know, kind of the different colors that might work well. And then I will do a larger print. I'm gonna show you. So this was the white background and I will put it beside what ended up getting printed so you can see how it looks. Of course, when I print it out, it's never as vibrant as it is on the actual fabric, but you can see, um, you know, I, I can double check my scale when I print these out. It's just so helpful for me to have everything like this. So I'm gonna leaf through these here a little bit more just so you can see the check. Wildflower Toss, you can see I just did it up in a bunch of different colors so that I could see what I liked, what I didn't like as well. Sometimes I will print out color combinations and they just don't look as cute. And so they get nixed right away. Um, I'll go kind of quickly through here. Um, now, this is interesting. This was a color and you might have seen it up here that I had initially turned in kind of an aqua and a light aqua shade and we ended up cutting that colorway. So I'm going to show you those fabrics in just a little bit, the ones that we didn't use. Um, and the other thing that's fun here on Biddy Buds, we ended up going a little bit larger with the scale on this so that it would print nicer. So you can see how small the original was versus what was actually printed, just so that it showed up nicer on the fabric. So little changes like that are always interesting. And then I think the last one, yeah, is just the Busy Bees right there. So when I turn these in, like I said, I'm turning in way more than the number of prints that we'll need. And then what happens when a collection is submitted, I turn it all in, and the first thing that I get back are solids. So I'll get back solids matching to what I have in mind for this collection. I will approve the solids and then I will get back prints that I can pick and choose from and put the, the final collection together. So I thought it might be fun for you guys to see some of these solids. You can see my notes. I made these notes after I received my first set of solids and some of them I approved right away and some of them I thought needed a little bit more work. So down here, these are the prints that are the solids rather that i approved right away the aquas the yellows greens the dark coral and then the lighter blue and the off-white background but then there were a couple that i thought needed just a little bit more work that i wasn't quite happy with the shade this color actually wasn't included in with my initial um, solids that i received so they sent me this batch to choose from, and I don't even know how much difference you guys can see as you're looking at this, but there's five different colors here. I ended up choosing this solid right here. I'm gonna set that over to the side. With this red shade, this was the color, slide these over. This was the color that I originally received and it was just a little bit too orangey, too warm for me. And I said I wanted it to look a little bit more like the red from Canning Day. And I've pulled one of those fabrics from Canning Day so you could see the color that it was. So I wanted it a little bit more like this color instead of this color. So these were the next two options that I received and I approved this one here. So we'll move that over. And then the pinks, I don't have my original pink. My comment that I made was that I wanted it more like the pink from Flower Mill. So this is the pink from Flower Mill. And these were the two second options that they sent. And I ended up choosing this one right here, which is just a little bit darker, but it had the warmth that I wanted it to have. Okay. And then the blues, that dark blue was the last one. Um, this was the first solid that I received and I just wanted it to look a little bit more like Bella Solid in the color 48, um, which is just a little bit darker, you can see here. So they sent over these three and I ended up choosing this one right here. So I'm gonna lay out the solids then as they were after I made my picks and then 
I'm going to show you those aqua fabrics that did not make the cut. So this is what, well, let's just put them in rainbow order. It's always fun to see them in the right order. These were the fabrics then that made the cut. And that was the palette then for Sunwashed. Now, let's take a look at those couple fabrics. I have more of them. So when we get the print strike offs, we get, at least I get usually, I don't know, 80 to 90 different print strike offs. And then I have to narrow those down to between, I don't know, I usually do 32 to 40, maybe 38, somewhere in there. Narrow down the prints that are sent to me to the ones that I want in the final collection. So there are a lot of cuts that need to be made. Um, and sometimes there will be a colorway that is cut. Sometimes there might, well, always, there's lots of prints that are cut, but sometimes a colorway doesn't work as well. So this aqua ended up getting cut from the collection. And I'll just lay it out here so you can kind of see how it mixes in. And you can still see bits and pieces of this shade in with some of the prints. So it's still in there in little bits, but there are no prints that have it just as the background or as the main color as you see here. So that, those four got cut among others, but this was, um, that's just an interesting little tidbit about this collection. Now, my question for you is, do you like seeing the fabrics that didn't make the cut? I have thought it would be fun to release a video of maybe beautiful day fabrics, fabrics that didn't make the cut, because I think that's interesting. But would it just spite you that those fabrics are not available to be purchased, or would you find that interesting. I'm curious to know if that is a video you think would be fun to watch. Um, and maybe that could be something that I would do going forward if there's interest in that sort of thing. So that is the new Sunwashed collection coming to stores early 2023. If you are watching this video in August of 2022, now is the time to let your quilt shop know that you would like to see this in stores when it comes out so that they can get this ordered and as i said stay tuned i will be sharing the new quilts in an upcoming video and i would love to have you watch along so thank you so much for stopping by and i'll catch you again next time